Good morning. Today we're doing a mock test in Newcastle under line. Today we're kindly joined by Alex. Do you want to say hello, Hi. Alex? So Alex, you've got your test soon, haven't you? Oh. Yes. When is it? Uh, 29th of June. 29th of June, not long at all. So get in the comments, give us some love and support down there in the comments below, 29th of June. So we'll see what we can get out, see if there's any major mistakes and learn as much as we can and even test one of the test routes. Now, this test route was actually used previously today by another student who did pass a test. Uh, so it's very interesting that we'll see how we get on. Hopefully. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Do you know what the test involves? They're going to stop you three times. They're going to the stop left. you three times, yeah. They might put you to park on the right. And yeah. It's Bay Park, Reverse Park or Parallel Park. Perfect. Are you confident with all of them? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, so we are going to choose one of those today. We'll see how we get on along the way. It might be when we get back here. It might be along that. We'll just see what see, see what we want to do. Is that yeah. okay? When you're ready. Now I have sped up some of the areas of this video just so you still get to see the route without me cutting them out. But it's a lot quicker when nothing exciting is actually happening. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, there are two exits from Newcastle and Line Driving Test Centre. Today we're taking the right exit, which is straight onto the A34 dual carriageway. This is only a one-way exit, so you can only turn left onto the dual carriageway. Now there are some lights just on the right, so all you've got to do is wait patiently for the both lanes to be clear, for those lights to go red, and that's a perfect opportunity to leave. So what Alex just did there is she's made a statement, she's told me what she's planning to do, which means I don't have to try and guess what she's planning to do, making my job a hell of a lot easier. So this is a really good thing. Now this is also something that you can do and it is recommended to do on your driving test. I recently had a student that went to Featherstone Test Centre and he chose to do this. He asked the examiner, can I make a few statements, tell you what I'm thinking? She said yes. He was the first person she said in seven people that day that she passed. So that says this isn't a bad thing at all. It really helps people pass a driving test. I know what you're thinking and what you're planning. Far easier than guessing. Yeah. It's also worth noting this is the end of the A34 heading into Newcastle under Lyme. And as you can see on the left, there are always parked cars here. So it's worth popping into the right lane just a little bit earlier. When you start seeing those cars, really start thinking about making your way across so you don't get trapped behind them. So this is a really good example of observations on roundabouts and checking a blind spot. Alex is just looking over now before she changes into the left lane coming off the roundabout. So she's checking a left mirror, having a quick look out that window just to make sure nothing's there.
after 300 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit. So after the traffic lights, I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna go on the right. Okay. I'm not too sure why you, you chose to go into the right lane here, Alex. You know we generally go into the left lane because that's what you did earlier. You go into the right lane, the sat nav showing the left lane, which just made your life a little bit more difficult. Maybe just make sure you're looking at the sat nav a little bit earlier to avoid this sort of situation. So as you can see here, we've got some fantastic following distance. The most important thing is seeing some tarmac and tires, just in case a car in front breaks down or an ambulance needs to get past, we've got room to easily maneuver around that car. Alex is also going to feel a lot safer when driving away because she's not gonna feel so under pressure that she, she can't touch the clutch too much or bring it up too much or press the gas too much in case she goes into the back of the car in front. So space is key and it's completely free. So it's a spiral roundabout. So as we said, just you get in your lane, you stay there, yeah. it takes you where you need to go. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout, fourth exit. So I have to stay in the right lane. Because I know the camera is there. It's crazy, isn't it? It is. That's why it's quite effective. It's almost like a real, real driving test. It's, yeah. It just brings that, gives you that nerves that the like of the actual driving test. Yeah. So I have to stay on this lane and go on the left lane. That's correct.
So right at the end here, at Alex, I would have really liked to have seen one more blind spot check just over that right shoulder. I know you have been checking, but just one more, just last thing before you pull across.
So what, you're not keen on this junction? Mm. I've got a lot in front, I've got the car behind me. <laughs> it's keeping the distance anyway, but just for the safety reason. Alex, you've done the complete right thing using the handbrake on this hill. You can't tell so much from the camera, but this is a big old hill. And using the handbrake just makes life so much easier. You're not going to risk stalling because you can cover that gas with the other foot rather than trying to balance it on the brake and it means you've got plenty of time to get it all done so well done Al but you do get a minor for driving off with the handbrake still on This road seriously catches students out on their driving test because they just don't know what the speed is. There's only one speed sign at the very beginning of the road, and that's a national speed limit sign. Now, the best way to tell this is if there's street lights, it must be a 30 mile per hour area unless you see a sign saying otherwise. If there's no street lights, then it's got to be a 60 mile per hour or national speed limit. Now this road would be safe to be going a little bit quicker than 30, 40 miles per hour in most of this road, especially in these conditions, nice sunny weather. Um, Alex is actually following a lorry though, so she can't do anything, so she's stuck at whatever speed the lorry's going. There are two changes of speed limit on the Whitmore Road, the A53. It goes from a national speed limit road down to a 40 speed limit for a very short distance and then again down to a new zone which is a 30 speed limit. This is very easy to miss and also very easy to fail your test on. So really pay attention to these. These are at the end of the road just before the roundabout.
I'll take the first exit and left. Excellent, well, it's when you're ready, safe, can we drive on? Really good mirror checks there, Alex, going around those cars. I didn't see a single one being missed. Do it within two car lengths. Is that okay? Yeah. So parallel park, first of all, Alex, you notice the car behind you because you're looking behind you correctly. You can see the car has stopped and is waiting patiently, which means you should carry on. So well done, this is great so far. really important that when you're doing a maneuver you are aware that the second you leave enough space for a car to get past even if you're not finishing maneuver chances are they're going to take it so keep an eye at this point if, the, if you've left enough space then look behind you make sure or ahead of you make sure if, to see if the car's going or if they're waiting for you to finish don't worry we'll talk about things at the end okay okay yeah um are you happy are you done with that maneuver no actually no because you said that you want me to reverse to car length. Uh, Up to two car lengths. Yeah. I'm just asking, I'm just saying, are you finished or not? Because if you're not finished, no. that's absolutely fine. You no, can I'm continue. Not. 
So at this point, Alex, what I can see, I can see a straight car lined up with the other car in front. I can see you at a perfect distance from the curb. So I'm wondering why you really, you're messing with it anymore. You're asking for trouble, really. Probably would have left it, but let's see what we're going to do. There's some serious overthinking going on here. Poor handbrake, you just... Think about it. Lock you. Is it okay? No, because my back is a bit late. Look in your little mirror though. Yeah, in my little mirror I'm okay. Okay, well then just leave it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Don't try and fix it, it's not broken. Okay? okay. You can't, might not be. I'm giving you a minor for this because there was a lot of messing about backwards and forwards thing. Um, you seriously just overthought it. Apart from that, the parking was very good, so well done. Perfectly straight. If a car can still get past, then you've got, you're pretty, pretty close to that curve. It's not okay. Yeah. All right. So when you're ready, let's drive on. Safe to do so. Drive on. We're going to turn left at the end of the road. Really good reactions there, Alex. The car was parked on the left just after a bend. Uh, it came out of nowhere, really. And you managed to check your mirrors. All the signs are saying you're, you're getting ready for your test. Sorry, it's been a little while, yeah. Just Ah, yeah. oh, I'm there, the road. 
you said left, all right? Right side, <laughs> yes. It was perhaps a little bit close, but the driver didn't seem to have to slow down at all. Therefore, you've just got away with it by the skin of your teeth. Pass a driving test. Are you sharing the husband's car or are you buying your own? I'm buying my own. Oh, yeah. Any ideas what you're getting? I want the Audi, Audi A3. Do you? <laughs> yeah. But I my husband said no. That's not very nice. I'd like an Audi A3. I want the Range Rover Evolve. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, really want one. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Where am I going here? <laughs> second exit straight on. Audi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's right, but they also last a lot longer. So they don't need repairing anywhere near as often. But then, um, his Dodge just break down. <laughs> yes. And he spent like three, three thousand pounds on oh my God. the car. Oh my god. Sounds like someone's getting an Audi A3 to me. Uh huh. More than sure. <laughs> I've never been in one, but they just love the cars. So yes. I, I taught someone in one the other day, actually. Well, I say I taught her. It was her car. She took me. But yeah, I was, I was a bit jealous. I'm going to take the next road on the left. And I finally caught you out, Alex. We turned left here and you forgot to check your left mirror. But in 40 minutes, absolutely fantastic. Alex, I'm more than happy to take you for your driving test. Well done. What it's safe to do, sir, to pull over on the left. Perfect. How do you feel you did? It's 
Oh, sorry. So, so. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, pass or fail? Pass. <laughs> well done. Oh, well thank done. you. Really, really pleased with that. Thank you. Really pleased. I know I've done some mistakes. Yes. And it's good that you recognize that. It's I know. really good. And I'm sorry I wasn't helping you along the way, but it's, I was doing a proper mock and, you know, you wouldn't get any feedback along the way. But yeah. I'm really, really pleased with how you did there. I'm going to struggle to find faults, to be honest. At the end there, you forgot to check your mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you were a bit rough on the braking occasionally. Yeah. And you really overthought that parallel park. I could <laughs> see you, you, start, you started winding yourself up there. Okay. Yeah. You said the guy was waiting behind you. No, he was like not close to our car, but he was there and I didn't know what he was doing. No, but he'd stopped. Mm -hmm. And I'd ask you to try and do a parallel park. And if you needed to park there, okay, he needs to wait. You had space. Yeah. He needs to wait. Yeah. Yeah. As long as he stopped. If he was coming behind you and he kept coming, then you obviously wouldn't reverse. But he yeah. didn't. He stopped. And let me ask you: on the countryside roads where the lorry, I was following yes. the lorry. I was okay. In the, with Are you on about with speed? Yeah. Um, could you have gone any faster? No. No. Why? So I was okay then. Because there was a lorry in front of you. You can't do anything yeah. with a lorry in front of you. You know, if there was no lorry, I, I would have, I personally would have expected you to be about 50. Yeah. It's quite, you know, I've, I've driven that road a lot and I know that it's quite comfortable at 50. Even with the bends, they're not particularly sharp. They look no, sharp no, when no, they no, are. Yeah. Um, apart from that one at the beginning. So, yeah, but with a lorry there, no. And you went on to the next road. You did speed it, speed it up. You were a nice, yeah. comfortable speed. You weren't delaying any traffic. So, no, you did absolutely great with that. Okay. Um, and when you pulled out the right at the junction, you said you were a bit close. I thought it was okay. I, I mean, there was a second where I thought, are we? I was like, no, no. Because you were only crossing their path. Just mm -hmm. now, with a black car? Yeah. I thought you were just crossing their path. You know, um, if you want to play it safe, then play it safe. But no, I, I thought it was quite comfortable. Yeah. You know, you were very competent. Um, I didn't at all feel like there was a problem. So no, really well done. Thank you. Okay. I'm pleased with that. Thanks. Um, Keep practicing that parallel parking, maybe. Get yourself really comfortable. You really ever thought that. Mm -hmm. Once you got it there, just leave it. Yeah? You might. You, you would have probably got a minor, because as you say, it could have been a little bit straight. It was so hot. Yeah? Yeah. It was one of those. So, yeah, really well done anyway. Thank you. That's it today, ladies and gents. Thank you very much. Say bye. Thank you. Bye.